Hi guys, Justin here. Um, I'm going to show you guys a cool way of rigging uh, swim baits, the solid swim baits. Um, it's something I use quite often in shallower water or up on the flats here on St. Clair where I'm chasing smallmouth in the summer. And it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's kind of a cool name. Um, in Japanese, it is called the Chai Kabu Rig. I know I butchered that really bad, so if you speak Japanese, let me know if, how, how well I did on that one. Um, but when you translate it to English, it is a nipple rig. Uh, essentially what a nipple rig is, is you take a swim bait and you're going to be basically putting nipples on it. Um, and I'm going to be demonstrating it on the Kitech because it actually has uh, some holes here on the bottom where those weights go. And the slots for the hook and everything is nice and straightforward. So you guys will get a good idea how this is supposed to be set up so you can use it on whatever swim baits you want to use it on. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to rig it up on the hook. So what I like to do is lay the hook alongside of it so I know roughly where I got to go back in to it. Okay, and I'm going to come down through the center. I go up into the bend on these hooks and come right out onto the seam of the bait right here. Put it on all the way. Very good. Double check again where my entrance point's going to be. And I come straight through. So basically I just text pose the hook. And that hook's going to go right into their channel that they have here on this Kitech. So next what you're going to do is you're going to take a nail weight or a wacky worm weight, whatever you would like to use, um, and you're actually going to insert it on this Kitech right where these holes are. Um, if you want to add a little more weight to it, definitely use the wacky weights so that it has uh, the extra uh, lead sticking out of it. To hold them in place, um, some people will probably opt to heating them up with a lighter before they uh, put them in the bait. That just makes it slide through the plastic a little bit better. Um, and you just go ahead and insert it right into these holes all the way through. And in this case, because I'm using the wacky worm weight, I'm actually gonna go all the way through like so. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. We're gonna hit it with the lighter again to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna go right through that hole again. And just take your time, thread it all the way through. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my pliers, the cutters, and I'm gonna push down a little bit and I'm just gonna snip off the excess. I'm trying to leave it as level as possible. So that is the nipple rig. Uh, it's got a pretty cool re uh, action to it, nice compact with the weights being there. It is pretty much out of the way of the hook. As you can see, I'll let you set the hook pretty well. You still have plenty of gap on there. So next time you're out fishing swim baits, give the nipple rig a try.